right, here is the video review for the Make Toys Convention Exclusive Remaster EX MTRM EX07 uh, Slip Swarm, a version of Slipstream. And it's kind of cool that the packaging uh, does have like some animated style uh, logo and art on it. Um, it looks really nice. I do like the color scheme. Uh, I've been playing uh, Disney's Larkana card game uh, in my local league, and blue purple is. Uh, or Amethyst Sapphire, I guess I should say, is uh, the deck I've been running. I keep tweaking it. It's not the most competitive color scheme uh, pairing of inks, but uh, I am determined to make purple happen. So we'll see how that goes. Like I've had some success, but it's it's not a it's not a uh, league buster, or a, it's not even whatever. I'm having fun playing it. I like the color scheme, and it works well here on Slip Swarm. Uh, this is about the best I can get the jet mode. Um, there's a lot of little tabs that do work, but you can see the wings are slightly sagging. Like, it's not horrible, but it's it's just a slight... They, the, the pegs that are supposed to hold everything in place don't quite, and the more you mess with it, and it, it, it probably wouldn't be as bad if I took these bombs off, or whatever these weapons are. Um, but yeah. But I mean, like I said, the color scheme's nice. Um, I do think it's getting to be time to maybe retire this mold. I always, I'm always happy when we see new Make Toys stuff. Um, they had a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. I keep hoping that maybe they'll make enough uh, from these convention exclusives to start up some of their, get, get back into making toys because they made really good toys um, for a long time there. This mold's really starting to show its age, um, although still uh, decent enough as a jet and robot. Like I said, the wing's a little saggy. Um, your mileage may vary. That could be a, you know, a variance between figures, but, uh, yeah, it's slip swarm. It does have the, uh, the fans on the wings, uh, that spin here. Uh, you can see, I just knocked that wing loose. Let's see if we can get a tab back on there. All right. Um, but yeah, the wings spin. Very cool. Also, the sound may be a little off on this. I just Upgraded my phone, which I've been recording on, and I no longer have wired headphones that I was using to record myself. So if this is a little low or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, echoey, more so than usual, uh, I'm working on it. I just haven't done it yet. This is the first video I'm shooting on it, so we'll, we'll see where we're at. Um, but yeah, this was sent for review, so uh, thank you to TF Source for sending one of these over to check out. Um, that's why I'm reviewing it. Like I said, I'm not... Fully retired, but I'm, I'm not really going out of my way to procure stuff. But anything that gets sent my way to review, I will obviously continue to do that uh, as they show up. But anyway, here's Slip Swarm. Uh, it does come with the stand, which is a very nice ratcheting stand. The jet itself does have a um, come with a, a separate piece, a connector here to connect to the stand, which is really cool. Um, it just kind of pegs in under here. Before I couldn't keep it on, now I can't get it off. <laughs> that is usually how it goes. Pop this off, there we go. But yeah, it, it pegs into these peg holes right here on the arms and then tabs in under here. And it actually holds on fairly securely and, it, and then that square piece attaches to the stand right there. So it's nice of them to include that. Go ahead and take these off. These are configured with the short little missile tips. Uh, you do get the full uh, null ray extension for robot mode. You just pull out, you can just pull out the little tip and put it on here. So I realized I didn't lock the focus here, so let's go ahead and do that. So it's not warping in and out on us. Okay, I'll go ahead and turn those into full size null rays. You can also um, leave them attached. No, you can't actually. Um, go ahead and turn the arms right. Anyway, um, go ahead and take these off. These also have the same extension right there. We'll set all those weapons off to the side. And we'll go ahead and transform it. It's pretty much the same as uh, all the other uh, Make Toy Seekers we've gotten. Also, real quick, uh, underneath the, the base are a couple of transparent, uh, translucent blast effects that can attach to uh, the tip of, come here you, tip of the weapons. If you want to make it look like they're shooting, which again, we'll show off when we get to robot mode. You can also do it in jet mode as well. 
and the stand will just set off to the side for the time being. So come back here, lift up the wings. So it shouldn't be too hard to get them, get them going because they really don't want to stay in place anyway. So flip them up out of the way, open up these panels here on the back of the feet and bring this whole assembly down uh, and then open the legs. This should not come off, it's pegged in right here. If it does come off, slide it down, just peg it right back on. Um, that's just loose glue, that's easily fixed. Uh, bring the knees up and then bring the back panels down. You wanna kind of wiggle them to line them up so those, those tab in right there. The thrusters, uh, split the legs apart, pop the feet out and you can uh, get the foot starting to come down. It ratchets down and out like that and then rotate the thruster around to the back to form a heel. You can also flip this piece out a little bit. Uh, that's for an unused fin there, but uh, yeah. Make sure that heel piece comes back. Lock that in place and bring the leg down and do the same over here. Open that up, bring the foot out. The foot, the, the ankle tilts here are, are very strong ratchets, which is nice because it helps support the figure, but Oof, trying to get them started from all the way flat can be a pain. Rotate the thruster out, and there we go. Bring the leg down, and again. There we go, make sure that pegs in like that. And there you go, this is where we're gonna attach the stand in robot mode when we get there. Come up here, uh, this arm has already moved out on, by, on its own. Flip the wings up, flip the arms up. This was already, as I was doing it, already moved out and slid up, so just get that up out of the way. This is, the, this is the, the floppy stage of the thing where everything's not pegged in yet and the wings are all flooping around, but uh, we'll get it so secure, I promise. Uh, bring these hip panels out to the side. Bring the ab panels down. Pull them around. And pull them back up in like that and they should peg right in there. Same over here. Actually, they don't peg. Hmm. Oh, they probably peg into that when the cockpit flips around. Um, anyway. I'm going to bring that up. Oh, make sure the arms are all the way up here. So this piece needs to... Uh, I'm just going to slide all the way up for that piece to come down properly. There we go. Bring these up and around. This piece comes up. That comes down over the hips and comes up into the body so it fits properly. Fold these down. There are the arms. We'll deal with them in a minute. Come up here. Cockpit opens. Cockpit comes back. Uh, this piece comes down. And this piece detaches and opens up over the head. And then bring that down and around. This piece can collapse in to that piece, so the cone sits on the back. This little cone piece will flip out like that, and then bring this piece back up and in here to form the cockpit. Open up these panels. This whole assembly will rotate. And you bring it around, and then forward like that so it fills in where it should and you can plug in those little ab pieces I was talking about the piece should sit flat like that open up these panels fold this. come on there we go this piece comes down onto the back gotta get there we go like that cone comes down oh, does this piece rotate too this piece rotates too there we go, like that. Cone piece comes down. There we go. No oh, camera. Everything is flopping on me today. So yeah, have the back piece look like that. He's pegging into place. Arms, the head, the wings come up. And the wings are on like dual slides here, so you may 
part of the reason there's such a pain in vehicle mode. But uh, kind of adjust them to whatever height you want individually irrespective of each other and then they peg in to the back here although getting that to happen can be a bit of a pain and they don't want to stay as well as I would like but they stay pretty well like that feet in a position to actually support the figure arms extend, the fists come down and rotate. You got poseable fingers, like you do. And the arms come down, fists come down. The fingers are on ball joints. As you just saw, I popped one off. This pinky has been a pain in my butt. But uh, that's just a matter of making sure you hold the arm properly. I was a little rough with it. Once they're in, they're in. You should be supporting it. I don't know why this is being such a pain in the butt. There we go. Come on, there we go. You can put the, use that to support the panel back here. Once you get the feet in place, there we go. And they're more or less is slipstream in or slip swarm in robot mode. Again, the fans spin. Oh yeah, blow it on works. Hey, how about that? That's kind of cool. Um, there, waist there. There we go. And then you can attach whichever weapon you wish to the arm. If you want to have the bigger silver pieces on. How you can do that. We'll put the null rays on here in a moment. You know, I haven't tried to attach the blast effect onto the tip of these, but uh, yep, hey, look at that, it works. So you can use the blast effect on either of the blasters. Um, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's those. I feel like those were just kind of included because of the uh, ramjet mold. Thrust. Sorry, not ramjet. Although ramjet had those as well. All the, all the cone heads had weapons similar to that. Although I think those probably are the thrust mold. Just because of what we're looking at. With slip swarm. Anyway, now I'm mumbling to myself and that's always a good sign uh, <laughs> for how my day is going. But yeah, there she is. Um... She's got interchangeable face plates. Her eyes on the included face plate here are yellow. Uh, she's got the screaming face and a stoic face with a very light pink eye. Uh, not the disease. Uh, just the paint. Let me see if I can get these in focus here. Yeah, so you use your got pink eyes that can swap off onto the face. Which I haven't that that I, I confess I have not attempted. It's it's the same problem you have with a lot of these in that you got to just, just get in the, an angle on the face to get the... There we go. One face popped out. Uh, let's give her the screaming face here. And then you got this little tiny piece you got to squeeze in here. But there we go. Now she's now she's mad about something. Or they're mad about something. Uh, same posability as all the others. You got a ball joint and neck. Uh... You don't hear the click, but there is like a detent there on the uh, the shoulder forward and back, the hinge side to side, bicep swivel, dual hinge elbows, uh, like I said, wrist swivel, as well as all the poseable fingers. You got a waist swivel, dual hips in both directions, um, knees, uh, about 90 degrees. You got some ankle tilt in that ratchet in the toe that we had trouble with earlier. And like I said, she can also be attached to the stand in robot mode, if you wish. Uh, it just pegs on, you lift this up, and there's a little flap, or a little, I don't know what, what I'd call that pattern right there, but it also matches the cutout here on the stand. So if you take the stand and rotate it like this to match, you can 
plug that in on there like that. We need to we need to lift the hip up a little bit to give this space to plug all the way in, but it will plug on and keep her on the stand. Are you doing this wrong? No, that's the right way. I had her on here earlier. There we go. So yeah, you can display her up in the air or them. Not quite sure. Slipstream. And animated, I believe, used she. Uh, and I'm not so sure about other media, if there was any other media. But yeah. Turn her off of there. And just a quick size comparison. Oh. Went all the trouble of raising that up just to bring it right back down. <laughs> How y'all been? It's been, what, over a month since the last time we did this? Hope everybody's doing okay. It's been a very busy... Come on, camera. Just, just lock it in place for me here. That's all I need you to do. Need to replace my stand, too. All my stuff's falling apart, and because I haven't been doing this, I haven't put the money into replacing it. But, uh... So there's Slipstream and just a quick comparison with actual Masterpiece Starscream. A little taller, uh, although scaled more to the previous Masterpieces, Masterpiece Seekers. Uh, the Make Toys versions did fit in really well with those. Just the newer cartoon, cartoony ones that they did are a little smaller. I, I really like them, but, uh, but yeah. And then... Uh, I should just get them both in here. It's because I didn't do this comparison with Starscream when I did the review. But here is with Fans Hobby Fright Storm. Just to give you an idea of how big that one is in robot mode. But yeah, Make Toys Slip Swarm. It is an interesting collector piece. It is definitely a mold that is starting to show its age. Like, uh, they've done many different variants of this mold. And just with anything like that, the more you run it, the more you start to see those little things. I don't know if they've updated them. I don't know if there's been any retooling or reworking of those molds, but it, it, it's definitely starting to, just from an engineering standpoint and just a, <laughs> we've used it many, many times standpoint, it's starting to show its age. Display-wise, it's a very visually striking piece. I, like I said, I love the colors. I like the packaging. Um, I, I think it was a good choice to use as an exclusive. If you've got one, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, if you're looking to pick it up and because you want a slipstream on your on your shelf, it's nice. It fits in if you've been collecting the other Seekers, if you've got older uh, Masterpiece Seekers, or more of the Make Toys line, it's going to fit in really well with them. It's just... You know, know what you're getting. It is a, geez, how many years has it been since these first came out? Um, it's been a while. They, they've been using this one for, for a good bit now. Um, and it is starting to show some of that. So just be aware of that when you buy it. But all in all, a neat looking figure. And, and like I said, I really like the color scheme. But there is Slip Swarm, Make Toys MTRM EX07. It was a TF Source convention exclusive from TFCon. And I believe you can still pick it up on their site. And also, just real quick, as I replace the face for my thumbnail, all the faces actually have pink eye, uh, pink eyes. I don't know why. Like, this one just under the lighting looked really yellow, especially in the shadow of the helmet. But, like, nope, it, it, all the eyes are pink. So, my apologies for misspeaking earlier in the video. Uh, they are all pink, pink eyes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know when we'll be back, but when something else shows up, Actually, you know what? Fans Hobby is just starting to ship their overload. So if one of those makes it my way, uh, we'll certainly be back. For, we will absolutely be back for that because uh, their Armada stuff, especially, I'm super stoked for. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you all have been having a great month. And we'll see you when we see you.